right let's have more on fractions and this time we will talk about um, addition and subtraction of similar fractions and mixed numbers okay now this is actually for um, grade 6 um, quarter 1 week 1 so lesson 1 we have adding and subtracting similar fractions to add or subtract similar fractions uh, number one you have to add or subtract the numerators and then number two copy the denominator and then three simplify or write the answer in lowest term if possible okay let's have example all right example one let's add a we have 3 over 13 or 3 thirteenths plus 4 thirteenths so tatlong thirteenths at saka apat na thirteenths e di pitong thirteenths lang yan so this is 7 thirteenths and add lang natin yung numerator copy the denominator and that's it okay letter B we have 5 ninths plus 2 ninths so total of again 7 ninths okay Another example, example 2, what is the sum of 13.21 and 11.21? Okay, so 13.21 plus 11.21, that is 24.21. Now, take note, ang sagot po natin is improper. And to simplify this, we need to change the improper fraction into a mixed number. So, paano natin gawin yan? Pinakita ko na yan sa dating video. I-divide lang natin yan. Diba? So, 24 divided by 21 ay meron kang okay, isa. And then, ang sobra is 321. Now, again, observe 321 or 3 over 21. Pwedeng i-divide yung dalawa by 3. So, reduce natin to lowest term. So, 3 divided by 3 and 21 divided by 3. Final answer natin would be 1 and 1, 7. So, 13 21 plus 11 21 is equal to 24 21 or 1 in 1, 7. Right? Example 3. Add 3 tenths plus 5 tenths. So, again, add natin yung numerator. Copy the denominator. So, we have 8 tenths. Kaya lang, 8 tenths is divisible by, a, uh, is uh, not in its lowest term. So, yung dalawa is divisible by 2. So, ang 8, pwede natin divide by 2. At saka yung 10, ay pwede natin divide by 2. So, 8 divided by 2 and 10 divided by 2, your, um, our answer would be 4 fifths. So, 3 tenths plus 5 tenths is equal to 8 tenths or 4 fifth. Okay? Now, let's have addition and subtraction of mixed number. Okay? So, so far, hin, uh, puro yun similar fractions ang ginawa natin. Okay? Uh, this time, let's have mixed numbers. Okay? So, paano natin gawin? Arrange the mixed numbers vertically. Okay? Patayuin natin, and then add the whole numbers, and then add the similar fractions. And simplify or write the answer in lowest term if possible. So, example. example tayo, add 5 and 2 sevenths, and then 9 and 4 sevenths. So, nakahanay na siya, nakatayo na. It's now in vertical, okay? Uh, arranged vertically na. So, Anong unang gawin? So, we need to add the whole numbers. So, you have there 5 plus 9. That is 14. And then, add the fractions. So, 2 sevenths plus 4 sevenths is equal to 6 sevenths. So, final answer natin is 14 and 6 sevenths. And, nasa lowest term nito, so wala na tayo simplify. Kasi 6 and 7 uh, hindi pwedeng i-divide by any number. Okay? So, divisible by 1 lang yung dalawa. So, final answer is just 14 and 6, 7. Right? Example number 4. Okay. We have the 
we have here give the sum of 8 and 9 nineteenths and 3 and 16 nineteenths. Right? So, again, sulat natin vertically. Okay? So, 8 and 9 nineteenths plus 3 and 16 nineteenths. So, ano unang gagawin? O, add the whole numbers again. So, 8 plus 3, that would be 11. And then, add the fractions. So, that is 9 nineteenths plus 16 nineteenths. That is equal to 25 nineteenths. Alright. Now, take note, ang 25 nineteenths natin dito is in improper, uh, an improper fraction. Diba? So, kailangan natin simplify ang 25 nineteenths. So, you know, if, if the fraction is improper, change it into a mixed number. So, paano natin gawing mixed number? E, eh, divide lang natin yung 25 by 19. Diba? So, 25 divided by 19 may isa. Okay? So, 25 minus 19, ang sobra natin is 6. Diba? So, isa at saka 6, 19. So, yung 1, i-add natin sa 11. Okay? So, 11, 25, 19. Final answer natin. This is just equal to 12 and 6 nineteenths. Alright? Okay. Let's have example number 5. So, this time, let's do some subtraction. Subtraction. Okay? So, subtract 16, 23rd minus 8, 23rd. Okay? So, pareho lang to sa addition. Kaya nga, sinabay itong addition and subtraction. As long as similar, pareho yung denominator sa baba sa taas lang yung minus natin. So, 16 minus 8, this will just be 8 twenty-thirds. Okay? Now, hindi na natin kailangan i-simplify dahil simplified na yung 8 over 23. Wala natin pwede divide sa dalawa. Okay? So, let's, uh, next is 14 twenty-ninths minus 8 twenty-ninths. So, 14 minus 8, that is just 6 twenty-ninths. Again, final answer natin yan. Okay? Another example, give the difference of letter A, 9 and 11, 27, minus 3 and 8, 27. So, again, uh, vertically. Uh, um, ano natin vertically? Okay, arrange natin vertically. So, we have 9, 11, 27, minus 3 and 8, 27. So, uunahin natin ngayon ang whole numbers. So, we have 9 minus 3, that would be 6. Okay? And then, 11, 27. So, subtract natin yung fractions. 11, 27 minus 8, 27. That is just 3, 27. So, supposed to be, sagot natin is 6 and 3, 27. Kaya lang, 3 and 27 is divisible by 3. So, kailangan natin siyang i-reduce to lowest term. So, simplify natin. So, write the answer in lowest term. Okay, so divide natin yung 3 at saka 27 by 3. So, final na answer natin is 6 and 1 ninths, right? Okay, so another example, we have 11 and 15 thirty ones minus 6 and 18 thirty ones. So, again, okay, alright. Um, bago tayo uh, magpatuloy, Okay. Now, take note muna. Bakit kaya natin i-rewrite? Okay? Now, kung titignan nyo yung whole number kasi, we have 11 minus 6, pwede. So, 5 lang yan, di ba? Kaya lang, yung susunod na gagawin sana is 15 minus 18. Kaya lang, kulang ang 15. Hindi mo pwedeng bawasan with 18. Di ba? Kaya, manghihiram tayo dito sa 11. So, i-rewrite natin yung 11 and 1531. So, that would be, so, tayo ng isa sa 11. So, 10 na lang yan, di ba? And then, yung isa, okay, hiniwalay natin, and then 1531. But, take note, okay, um, ang 1, gagawin natin fraction para idagdag natin sa 1531. So, for it uh, to be changed to a whole fraction, dapat yung denominator is 31 din. E di, gawin na natin yung 31 over 31. ba? So, 
Pwede na nating idagdag yung 31 over 31 plus 15 over 31. So, narewrite na natin yung 11 and 15, 31 into 10 and 46, 31. Okay? So, ngayon, write na natin siya vertically. Okay? So, we have there 10 and 46, 31. And then, i-minus na natin yung 6 and 18, 31. So, again, start tayo with the whole numbers. So, 10 minus 6, we have 4. Diba? And then, ngayon, pwede na natin i-minus ang 46 at saka 18. Kasi hindi na nagkulang, diba? So, we have there, okay, the fractions. 46 over 31 minus 18 over 31. So, sagot natin is 28 over 31. So, final answer na natin yan. Dahil hindi na natin pwedeng i-divide 28 and 31 with any other number. Alright? Let's have a practice exercise. Okay? This is just quick. 